Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hello once again. We are going to boldly go. Um, we're going to talk about Star Trek Picard. I think I'll be putting out my Star Trek Discovery podcast first, but I briefly mentioned Star Trek Picard in it. This is what's further cementing this idea that Star Trek, the new Star Treks aren't for me. I can get the movies a little bit more, you know, the characters from the original show being reimagined, the elements of it, the sci-fi, this of it's gotten a little too pew pew for me, Oops, sorry, a little, the visual effects aren't harking me back to the original Star Trek or even the movies, The Next Generation and before, which all the shows included. I describe how they blended a lot of the old phaser look, the sustained phaser, and the pulse-like blasters. And the new ones just seem to have given it up completely. And I think Star Trek Picard is further cementing that for me. The elements of bringing back John luc Picard kind of work for me. I think Patrick Stewart is just a really good actor and the role just seems a little weird to me. Uh, I think it goes back to his interactions on The Next Generation being so different from the movies he was in and they're probably going with that. But the element of Starfleet in this is worse for me than Discovery or even the J.J. Abrams version. They seem to try to put the tropes back in and keep some element of that um, future or that possible timeline of how Starfleet originally was portrayed and up to the shows and even up to the movies with the next generation. I find that's missing here. And even worse, like someone or someone, a show like or the writers for like Discovery will use Section 31, it's an element of Star Trek, a secret black ops, um, you know, an organization within Starfleet that'll do whatever it takes, that type thing. And Discovery abused that too much, in my opinion, and some of the other shows would have elements of it, but didn't go too overboard, in my opinion. This is like, Star Trek is just Section 31 now. It doesn't feel like it's a two-part episode on the show where an element of Starfleet has been exposed as corrupt or uh, there's a plot, there's an evil takeover, hostile aliens. No, this just seems like Starfleet are assholes. Um, Picard makes a lot of decisions based on things we have to find out in the show. I wasn't too happy with the way the shows are structured. Bringing characters in that, well, I don't give plot reveals, spoilers, but the show has shown so many things in the previews. I'll, to say that Seven of Nine is in it is not too uh, much of a spoiler, but they're going to use elements of the show, which they do, that he was on, Next Generation, and some interactions in the movies with other characters. It just doesn't feel it doesn't play right for me uh the portrayal of the character adding in an element like a a vulcan monk ninja guy who uses a sword with a real young kid guy it's elements that just don't work and i was actually a little worried about the i call him the dennis miller clone but he actually worked for me in the show and, and again, like a lot of shows, great portrayals, pretty good actors and actresses. Most of them nailed it. The through line of the show is just, it's just fucking, I don't know. Not for me, I guess. Uh, you're not going to find anything wrong with his performances here and there. And, and maybe I'm just not liking the direction they're taking him in, but. 
you know, there's an evolution of character possibly. It just doesn't work for me with all the elements coming together. Um, not really interested in some of the graphical representations of things. And I know it's a nitpick, but you don't have to show me all Star Trek ships, but I like to be more in the feel of Star Trek than trying to pass off a ship that's run by like holograms where you could move elements of it as if they were holograms to grab and pull. Not really an element of Star Trek that I was expecting, but it's there. Okay, it's another it's a different type of ship, that's fine. It's not being used on Star Trek ships. But there's just something missing. Um you don't put a fucking ninety year old guy, I don't care what situation he is in and peak health, whatever, into explosions and give me scenes that are just a little unbelievable. But fine, they did it here and there. I think it's just the element that bothers me that it doesn't feel like Star Trek. And it should feel like it with John Luke Picard, and maybe he's the only thing that really grounds it together. But when you don't agree with the this portrayal of him, in a sense, it just doesn't work for me. So unlike Discovery, where... I'm, I'm reconciling that the new Star Treks aren't for me. Here we got Picard, and I thought, okay, this will bring me back. And it didn't do the job, so maybe it's a little more disappointing. I Another show that I think people will like. It's just what it is. It's not a, done badly. It just doesn't feel for me that it's, uh, you know, uh, igniting that spark of my nostalgia for Star Trek. Like, when Voyager came on and Deep Space Nine premiered, uh, it just was wowed and like, okay, it's different. I'm gonna go with it. It won me. They won me over. Even Enterprise, which I hesitated and didn't catch on right away. Once I gave it a shot, I was in. They just don't do it for me. Um, and the whole ending thing is just a mess, in my opinion. I don't know what the fuck they're thinking. This this whole connection to data and I don't know. Just a little disappointing. I guess maybe the critic in me might give it a higher score than that fanboy ranking. You know, what makes me harking back to the good old days, so to speak. It's not here. And I thought it would be, like I said, Patrick Stewart. There are moments, there are elements in there. He's just great, but uh, it just doesn't work. I wish I'd have a lot of good things to say. But the more and more I think about it, it's just maybe a missed opportunity. But for Picard or the actor, Patrick Stewart, uh, one of the last opportunities, so I'll give them that. Uh, you know, put an end chapter sort of um his contribution to Star Trek. But these this Alex Kurtzman type creative thing I think is bad. It just doesn't work for me. I'm trying to figure out where Picard was in the last movie, which is Nemesis and how the movie elements of Star Trek, J.J. Abrams kind of blend in there. It's a little weird. But they set the stage that I'm not happy with. But I can see people liking it, enjoying it. You know, not so invested in maybe some of the old stuff, and that's fine. I think it could be an enjoyable show. I can see the merits of it. Just ain't working for me in, in a total picture type thing. I can get some enjoyment out of it, sure. And would I watch season two if it comes out? Yeah, I'd, I'd give it a shot. See what I go with it. Not one of those things that totally turn me off. So, I think it's worth a shot. It's not something I'm uh, hell-bent on trashing. Although, I'm just disappointed in so many of the things they do. But I can see people liking it. Give it a shot if you want. 
I'll talk to everybody next time. Take care, everybody. Be well.